Kristen Smith, and I'm the Interpretive Program Supervisor at the Tualatin Hills Nature Center. Today, I'm in the natural area at the Howard M. Turpening Recreation Complex, and I'd like to share with you some easy ways to tell the difference between conifers. So what is a conifer? Simply put, a conifer is any cone-bearing plant or tree. If it is a plant that has a cone, no matter what the size, no matter if it's big like the sugar pine cone or small like a sequoia or redwood, it is a conifer. There are approximately 30 different species of conifers that are native to Oregon, many of which can be found in THPRD parks and natural areas. A lot of people call all conifers pine trees, and I think that's because that's most often what they call the cones when they find them. But there are also fir trees, spruce, and cedar trees, among others. So how do we tell all these conifers apart? With a few simple tips and tricks, you too can become an expert on the characteristics of our cool conifers. To help us identify the differences between conifers, we will be looking at how the needles or the leaves attach to the branch. In the case of pine trees, pine trees have needles in packets. If you look closely at a pine branch, you will see that there are packets of needles that attach directly to the tree. The packets may include two, three, or five needles, depending on the species of pine tree. In the case of our native ponderosa pine, there are three needles in a packet. Pine trees are the only conifer that have needles in packets. Fir trees and spruce trees have needles that attach directly or singly to the branch. Fir trees have needles that are flat and friendly. If you were to walk up to a fir tree and shake the branch of a fir tree, you would find that the needles are blunt. They don't poke you when you touch them. They're friendly. If you were to take a single needle of a fir tree, and put it between your thumb and your index finger, you would find it would be difficult to roll it back and forth. This is because the cross section of a fir tree is flat. Douglas fir trees are the most abundant conifer that we have west of the Cascades. The Douglas fir tree is also the official state tree of Oregon. It's important to note that while Douglas fir trees are not true firs, the identification rules still apply. Fir trees have needles that are flat and friendly. Spruce trees have needles that are sharp and square. If you were to walk up and shake the branch of a spruce tree, you would find that it's not very pleasant. Spruce needles are stiff, pointed, and quite sharp. If you were to look at a single spruce needle, and again, put it between your thumb and your index finger to roll it back and forth, you would find that most often it would roll back and forth. This is because the cross section of a spruce needle is square. To recap, spruce needles are sharp and square. Fir needles are flat and friendly, and pine trees have needles in packets. The last conifer needles I'd like to talk to you about today are those from the Pacific Northwest cedar trees. Cedar needles are smooth and scaly. If you were to take a cedar branch and run your hand across the back of it, you would find that the needles are quite smooth. If you were to look closely at the needles, you would see that they have a scale-like pattern, similar to what you might find on a fish or a snake. Cedar needles are smooth and scaly. With these simple tips and techniques, I hope you will feel more comfortable identifying the cool conifers we have in our parks. If you haven't been, I recommend checking out Loami Heart Woods, Jordan Woods Natural Area, or Jenkins Estate to try out your identification skills in identifying the cool conifers we have in our parks. For more information about ways that you can connect to nature, our parks, and trails, please visit our website at thprd.org. Until then, from all of us at THPRD, good luck, stay safe, and happy exploring.